Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electro Vehicles India. Friends, welcome to EV News. In this video, let's discuss some of the latest updates and interesting news from our EV industry. So, without any delay, let's dive into the video. Friends, first news is from Ola. Ola is going to conduct a live event on April 15th. This news is announced by Ola CEO Mr. Bhavish Agarwalji through his X account. So, he has showcased Ola S1 X electric scooter in the Twitter post. So, you can expect the latest updates and delivery dates of this Ola S1 X series. So, Ola has recently launched this Ola S1 X series in three variants and they are Ola S1 X 2 kilowatt hour, 3 kilowatt hour and 4 kilowatt hour. Ola announced the pricing of these three variants as for 2 kilowatt Ola is charging 7999 for 3 kilowatt hour variant Ola is charging 8999 and for 4 kilowatt hour variant Ola is charging 1.1 lakh rupees so this is before end of fame to subsidy but now as the fame to subsidy has been ended the prices may be revised and the delivery dates will be announced on this April 15th and currently all electric scooters are available in the market at discounted prices so the discounted prices is going to end on April 15th so overall we can expect a new revised pricing from Ola electric on this April 15th stay tuned and subscribe to this channel to get latest updates from EV industry. Friends, next news is from Tata. Tata Motors has partnered with Shell. So, Tata is going to set up charging stations in the Shell petrol banks. Tata has already tied up with BPCL and HPCL. That means we are seeing Tata charging stations in the Bharat petrol banks and Hindustan petrol banks on the highways. And soon we are going to see Tata charging stations in the Shell petrol banks too. Currently, Tata operates 8,000 EV charging stations in India. And overall in India, we have 12,100 plus charging stations currently working. So, I observed Tata charging station network work is very good in India but Tata couldn't able to operate all of this I mean Tata should maintain this EV charging stations in the working conditions so if anyone of you visited Tata charging stations watch your feedback on those please let me know in the comments Friends, next news is from Tesla. Recently, a tweet gone viral in the X and that tweet is tweeted by Elon Musk, who is the CEO of Tesla. So, in the tweet, he mentioned Narendra Modi ji and he said that Elon Musk is going to visit India and he is very eager to meet PM Narendra Modi. That means we can expect latest updates from Tesla to set up a manufacturing plant in India. Previously, import taxes on cars used to be 70 to 100 percent in India, but Tesla urged the Indian government to reduce those import taxes from 100 percent to 50 percent so that they can import their electric cars in India they can study the market and they can set up a manufacturing plant here but initially Indian government denied this request and recently Indian government has implemented a new import tax plan in our India so if any company wants to import their electric cars they have to pay 15 percent of the import duty the conditions for this relaxation in the import tax is they have to set up manufacturing plant in India after three years so if Tesla wants to import their electric cars by paying 15 percent of the import tax Tesla should definitely construct a manufacturing plant in India after three years. So many state governments are showing interest to attract Tesla to set up a manufacturing plant in their state. So majority of those states are Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Karnataka, AP and Telangana. So Tesla might set up their manufacturing plant in any of these five states. We'll get to know the more details by end of this month because Tesla CEO Elon Musk is going to visit India and he's going to announce more news about this. Friends, next news is from MG. A new electric car has been caught spied in India testing. So, this electric car is belongs to an Indonesian company which is Wuling EV, which is a parent company of MG. And the model is Wuling Cloud EV. So, recently MG has partnered with an Indian company called JSW Group. And they have promised that company is going to launch a new car for every six months in India. And recently MG has trademarked MG XLR EV name in India. So, we can expect this Wuling Cloud EV as MG XLR EV soon in our India. So, in the Indonesian market, this MG Cloud EV is available in two battery packs. Base variant gets 37.9 kWh battery pack and the top end variant gets 50.6 kWh battery pack. Company is offering 360 km of range in the base variant and 460 km of range in the top end variant. So, this Wuling Cloud EV looks very huge in person and it resembles same as Kia Karen's car. So, let's wait for the more details and launch of this Wuling XLR EV in India. Friends, next news is from BYD. BYD is known for their blade battery technology. Initially, BYD launched this blade battery technology in 2020. And when they launched this blade battery technology into the market, the density of this blade battery technology used to be 140 watt hour per kg. And later, they have increased this density to 150 watt hour per kg. And now in 2024, MG is going to launch the second generation of their blade batteries. And the density in this second generation of blade battery is going to be 190 watt hour per 
per kg. That means we can expect to close the 1000 km range in an electric car which uses this second generation blade battery technology. So China is way ahead in the EV market compared to our Indian market. But don't worry, Indian market will also get these kind of technologies and we can expect more fast charging stations and more range electric cars in India. Friends, last news is from Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet has recently introduced 8 years or 8 lakh kilometers warranty on their electric car. Usually, Ultraviolet offers 2 battery warranty options and they are UV Care and UV Care Plus. In the UV Care, Ultraviolet used to give 3 years or 30,000 kilometers warranty, but now they have increased it to 3 years or 60,000 kilometers. In the second pack called UV Care Plus, they used to offer 5 years or 50,000 kilometers warranty, but now they have revised it to 5 years or 1 lakh kilometers kilometers and they have introduced a new pack called uv care max so in this uv care max ultraviolet is offering eight years or eight lakh kilometers battery warranty on their f77 electric bike so this is a very good initiative from ultraviolet automotive so same like ola and ultraviolet all the companies should give at least six to seven years of battery warranty on their electric vehicles so what's your opinion on this battery warranty please let me know in the comments so friends, these are some of the latest news and interesting updates from our EV industry for this week. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. Go green, go electric.